Earthquakes of relatively greater magnitude may cause serious, sometimes unexpected failures of natural and human-made structures, either on the surface, underground, or even at sea. The most recent earthquake activity are seen in Iceland. Iceland has recorded more than 50,000 earthquakes in the past three weeks. This unusual activity indicates a volcanic eruption is on its way. Let us understand how earthquakes might trigger faraway volcanoes. An earthquake is what happens when two blocks of the Earth suddenly slip past one another. The surface where they slip is called the fault, or fall plane. The location below the Earth's surface where the earthquake starts is called the hypocenter, and the location directly above it on the surface of the Earth is called the epicenter. Sometimes an earthquake has four shocks. These are smaller earthquakes that happen in the same place as the larger earthquake that follows. Scientists can't tell that an earthquake is a foreshock until the larger earthquake happens. The largest main earthquake is called the main shock. Main shocks always have aftershocks that follow. These are smaller earthquakes that occur afterwards in the same place as the main shock. Depending on the size of the main shock, aftershocks can continue for weeks, months, and even years after the main shock. The Earth has four major layers, the inner core, outer core, mantle and crust. The crust and the top of the mantle make up a thin skin on the surface of our planet. But this skin is not all in one piece it is made up of many pieces like a puzzle covering the surface of the Earth. Not only that, but these puzzle pieces keep slowly moving around, sliding past one another and bumping into each other. We call these puzzle pieces tectonic plates, and the edges of the plates are called the plate boundaries. The plate boundaries are made up of many faults, and most of the earthquakes around the world occur on these faults. Since the edges of the plates are rough, they get stuck while the rest of the plate keeps moving. Finally, when the plate is moved far enough, the edges unstick on one of the faults, and there is an earthquake. While the edges of faults are stuck together, and the rest of the block is moving, the energy that would normally cause the blocks to slide past one another is being stored up. When the force of the moving blocks finally overcomes the friction of the jagged edges of the fault and it unsticks, all that stored up energy is released. The energy radiates outward from the fault in all directions in the form of seismic waves like ripples on a pond. The seismic waves shake the earth as they move through it, and when the waves reach the Earth's surface, they shake the ground, and anything on it, like our houses and us. Earthquakes are recorded by instruments called seismographs. The recording they make, is called a seismogram. The seismograph has a base, that sets firmly in the ground, and a heavy weight that hangs free. When an earthquake causes the ground to shake, the base of the seismograph shakes too, but the hanging weight does not. Instead the spring or string, that it is hanging from absorbs all the movement. The difference in position between the shaking part of the seismograph, and the motionless part is what is recorded. Iceland is most known as a volcanic island in the North Atlantic. It is one of the most active volcanic regions in the world. As history shows, its eruptions can sometimes have powerful impacts on Europe and the entire Northern Hemisphere. It has constant earthquake activity because it sits on both the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates. The plates are moving away from each other, tearing the island apart. It is the only place in the world where you can see those two tectonic plates and the mid-Atlantic ridge above ground. Despite being tectonic in nature, earthquake swarms in Iceland do sometimes have a tendency to include magma. What starts as a simple tectonic swarm can turn into a volcanic eruption sometime later. In strong swarms, the ground breaks and falls, creating fractures through which magma can rise to the surface. The Fagertals Mountain Volcano is on the Rake James Peninsula, where none of the volcanoes had erupted for almost 800 years. A fissure of between 500 meters and 750 meters opened at the site on 19 March, Friday evening, with lava fountains of up to 100 meters high. 
Over the past four weeks, the area has had more than 50,000 earthquakes, many more than the 1,000 to 3,000 registered each year since 2014.